For all its beauty and splendor, the wilderness can be a cruel teacher. Rope swinging embodies the harmony of thrill and caution, weaving together the exhilaration of soaring through open air with the respectful acknowledgement of the inherent risks. It's a fusion of adrenaline pumping fun and a sobering reminder of nature's grandeur and power. With every leap into the unknown, the danger amplifies the experience, infusing it with a palpable sense of vulnerability. Within this thrilling pursuit lies a balance, a fine line between adventure and peril. Please click the subscribe and like buttons. This is Outdoor Disasters. Rope swinging is an adventurous activity that involves finding a high point, usually a rock formation or an arch, and suspending a rope from it. Participants then swing from the rope, often jumping off a ledge or platform to experience the thrill of swinging through the air. It combines elements of rock climbing, rope work, and a bit of adrenaline rush. This activity is very popular in the area of Southern Utah with its culture of extreme outdoor activities and the abundance of natural arches. An infamous site for arch rope swinging is Corona Arch, a stunning natural sandstone arch located near Moab in southeastern Utah. It's part of the Colorado Plateau and is renowned for its grandeur and impressive size. The arch spans approximately 140 feet or 42 meters wide and stands about 105 feet or 32 meters tall. Its distinctive shape resembling a horseshoe makes it a captivating sight for visitors. The hike to Corona Arch is a popular adventure activity in the Moab area, offering a moderate trek through the desert landscape. The trail is about 1.5 miles or 2.4 each way, and while it's not overly strenuous, it does involve some scrambling and navigating rocky terrain. The journey takes hikers through a picturesque canyon, showcasing the beauty of the surrounding red rock formations in the Colorado River. Navigating the risks of arch rope swinging isn't just about seeking thrills, it's a profound lesson in embracing uncertainty and confronting fear. For Kyle Lee Stocking, his arch rope swinging adventure would be a disaster. To understand why Kyle Lee would attempt such a feat, you must understand the history of rope swinging at this site. In February of 2012, YouTube filmmaker Devin Graham assembled a group of 12 friends and journeyed to Corona Arch near Moab. They fastened a length of pretensioned climbing rope to the sandstone formation and commenced swinging through the opening, all while Graham captured the spectacle on film. The resulting footage, titled The World's Largest Rope Swing, amassed 20 million views on YouTube, attracting a wave of adventurous enthusiasts to the site. This video significantly bolstered the allure and popularity of swinging from Corona, Corona Arch was already known for being a destination for thrill-seekers interested in activities like rappelling or, as previously mentioned, arch rope swinging. The arch gained attention due to its proximity to another formation called Bowtie Arch and the picturesque views of the surrounding area, including the Colorado River and the nearby Canyonlands National Park. Many visitors believe swinging is an inappropriate activity that degrades others' experiences of the majestic formation which wind and rain sculpted over thousands of years from the sandstone domes. Over 40,000 people visit the arch annually, the vast majority being hikers, sightseers, and photographers. At the time, BLM estimated a growing number of people were going there to swing after the craze took off from the popular YouTube video. Reports grew of excited participants queuing up in the formerly tranquil canyon to fling themselves off the arch in pursuit of an extreme adrenaline rush. In January 2013, the Utah Trust Lands Administration, which then owned the land, banned commercial operations from taking paying clients to swing from the arch, but placed no restrictions on private parties. Signs of wear were starting to show, including bolts bored into the rock and rope scars, but the agency said it can't prevent private parties from using its lands. The agency posted a trailhead warning about the potential for severe injury or death even if your equipment works. Nevertheless, this didn't stop adventure seekers like Kyle Lee Stocking from attempting the feat. All understood the danger of the activity. On March 25, 2013, in the heart of Utah's desert, 22-year-old Kyle Lee stood beneath the magnificent Corona Arch, its red sandstone curves reaching for the sky. Kyle had always been drawn to adventure. 
and the allure of rope swinging at this iconic arch had captivated his spirit. Kyle, with his fervor for exploration, often sought the thrill of adrenaline-laced experiences. He'd heard tales of daring rope swings and watched videos showcasing the breathtaking leaps from this very arch, the rush of wind, the freedom of flight it called to him. On this day, with the sun casting its golden hue upon the rugged landscape, Kyle and his friends embarked on the journey to fulfill their dream. The hike to the arch was filled with anticipation, each step echoing his excitement and nervousness in equal measure. They arrived at the arch. The sheer size and grandeur of the natural formation left them in awe. But, amidst the beauty and adrenaline-fueled determination surged within Kyle. With careful preparation, Kyle secured his harness, checking and double-checking every knot, ensuring his safety. It is here where a dreadful miscalculation took place. His heart raced as he gazed into the vastness of the arch, the open expanse beckoning him. With a deep breath and a leap of faith, Kyle swung out into the open air, the exhilaration washing over him as he soared through the arch's embrace. What Kyle didn't realize is that there was too much slack in the rope, a catastrophic error. At the point where he was expecting the rope to go taut, it didn't. The realization struck Kyle like a lightning bolt. Panic surged through him as the arch's rough surface drew closer, sending Kyle plummeting towards the ground below. The impact was swift and unforgiving. The echoes of a dream cut short lingered in the air, a somber reminder of the risks intertwined with the pursuit of exhilaration. Kyle Lee Stocking died instantly. Lieutenant Kim Neal of Grand County Sheriff told the Salt Lake Tribune that the length of rope from the arch was miscalculated and sent Stocking swinging into the ground as he went under the red sandstone formation. Rescuers say he was dead at the scene. He was with five of his friends at the time of his death. In early 2014, the Bureau of Land Management took over ownership of the site from the state of Utah's Trust Lands Administration. The Corona section traded into federal control includes the smaller Bowtie Arch. BLM launched an environmental assessment to study the impacts of restricting roped activities in the area. Complaints were abundant, with BLM receiving messages to get rid of the rope swingers, as it was ruining the experience for everyone else in comparing Corona Arch to a theme park. One local recalled, I got invited to go up and rope swing and I thought, that sounds fantastic. But when I got up there, I quickly realized that some people were jumping off under the influence of alcohol and marijuana. Some didn't seem to know what they were doing. One of my friends got caught in the rope and was stuck, swinging for 20 minutes with a painful rope burns on her arm before climbers managed to free her. It's really dangerous, and people scream and yell when they're swinging. The initial BLM report said the arch suddenly appears in a spectacular setting. There is often an atmosphere of quiet reverence on the part of the visitor as they grasp the enormity of the view. It said visitors came from around the world to see Corona Arch and may only have one opportunity to do so. The report noted that climbers have put bolts in the rock and there is noticeable scarring on the arch caused by rope activities. BLM proposed banning rope swinging, repelling all forms of tightrope walking and zip lining from the arch and the nearby Gemini bridges, which it calls outstanding geologic formations. In January 2016, the BLM Moab field office in Utah announced temporary restrictions on zip lining, high lining, slack lining, climbing, rappelling, and rope swinging at Corona Arch and Gemini Bridges for the next two years as it develops policies to govern the activities. In August of 2017, BLM permanently banned roped activities, including swinging for about 37 acres of BLM administered public lands, including Corona Arch, Bowtie Arch, and Gemini Bridges. BLM said in a release statement, in recent years, Gemini Bridges and Corona Arch have become popular areas for a small number of visitors engaging in roped activities, such as highlining and swinging. This has led to a number of complaints from the public about the roped activities diminishing the experience of hikers and sightseers. Recently, damage to the arch has also been noted from the rigging structures and ropes. On January 6, 2016, BLM issued a decision to temporarily restrict roped activities for two years while it looked at appropriate management for the area. Following several public comment periods and environmental reviews and the federal rulemaking process, that restriction became permanent on August 17, 2017. 
Following the tragic death of their son, Kyle's parents would release a statement saying, it is the most tragic experience to receive the phone call from the sheriff, letting you know that your son has been killed in a terrible accident that could have been avoided. It is the most awful experience a parent could go through. We hope and pray that there will be no more parents experiencing what we are going through. There's a huge hole in our hearts. In his obituary, it stated, Kyle Lee Stocking was a stud, adventurous, spontaneous, selfless. He will be greatly missed, and we are all excited to see him in the Lord's time. The danger inherent in arch rope swinging serves as a poignant reminder of the untamed forces that shape our world. Amidst the adrenaline rush and exhilaration, the environment demands our utmost respect and caution. The beauty of soaring through the air demands not just courage, but a profound understanding of the importance of safety. In the pursuit of adrenaline, safety must stand as the unwavering cornerstone. It's the meticulous checks of harnesses, the double and triple knots securing the rope, and the careful assessment of the surroundings. The dance with danger in arch rope swinging is no mere whimsical pursuit. It's a razor's edge between thrill and peril, where one misstep can lead to irreversible consequences. This isn't a game where shortcuts or bravado suffice. It's a battlefield where meticulousness is everything. The beauty of swinging through the arch demands respect, not recklessness. There's no room for compromise when lives hang in the balance. Safety measures aren't negotiable. They are the lifeline that separates audacity from folly. In this pursuit, ignorance isn't bliss, it's a death sentence. The unforgiving landscape won't offer second chances to the complacent. It's a harsh reality, but a necessary one. This isn't about dampening the spirit of adventure, it's about preserving it. It's about ensuring that every leap is calculated, every swing grounded in preparation, and every thrill earned through meticulous attention to safety. Understand that this is not as a deterrent, but as a clear call. To embrace the thrill responsibly, to revel in the exhilaration while safeguarding against the lurking dangers. For in this pursuit, the line between glory and tragedy is as thin as the rope that suspends you in midair. Let safety be the guide that fuels our passion for adventure, a beacon that shows the path to exhilaration while ensuring a safe return to solid ground. Heed these words so you can avoid an outdoor disaster. Thank you for watching. Want more outdoor disaster content? Check out these stories I believe you'll enjoy.